is me, Jennifer, and I have for you this day in history, March 28th. In 1979, the nuclear disaster at Three Mile Island. In 1774, British Parliament adopts the Coercive Acts in response to the Boston Tea Party. In 1958, W.C. Handy, the uh, father of the blues, dies. In 1862, Union forces halt Confederates at Battle of Glorietta Pass. In 1814, funeral held for the man behind the guillotine. In 2006, Duke lacrosse team suspended following sexual assault allegations. In 1939, Spanish Civil War ends. And in 1984, Baltimore Colts moved to Indianapolis. In 1834, Congress censures President Jackson. In 1969, President Eisenhower dies. In 1915, the first American citizen killed during World War I. <clears throat> and your word for the day. We have hermetic, H-E-R-M-E-T-I-C. It's an adjective, Latin, 17th century. There are two definitions. First, of a seal or closure, complete and airtight. Second, insulated or protected from outside influences. Examples in a sentence. Thanks to the hermetic seal on the jar, the jam was still good months later. The hockey, the locker room atmosphere was hermetic. The only topic allowed was hockey strategy. And I'm going to give you a second word of the day. Your second word of the day is emphatic. P-H-A-T-I-C, adjective, Greek, 1920s. It means denoting or relating to a language used for general purposes of social interaction, rather than to convey information or ask questions. Examples of phatic in a sentence. Ariana wasn't a fan of phatic phrases from her students. Uh, Tanel always greeted people with one word, phatic utterances. That's interesting. And let's look at a little bit of history. The history of Chanel Number no. Five. Chanel Number no. Five is arguably the most iconic perfume ever created. But did you know how it got its start? Coco Chanel was already a phenomenon in French fashion when she decided she wanted to create a scent that epitomized the modern woman. It had to smell <coughs> clean and fresh, but it was difficult to create lasting fresh scents. At the time, chemicals called adelahides would do the front do the job, but perfumers were afraid to use them due to their strength. Still, Chanel approached the perfumer called Ernest Beau and asked him to create a fresh, clean scent. He presented ten samples. She chose number five. Supposedly, Beau's assistant had accidentally added more adelahide to do that sample than ever used before, giving the perfume a distinctly soap-like scent. Chanel had been created, had been searching for a scent that could be, could balance her own complicated sense of self. She spent her childhood in a convent and parts of her adult life as a mistress, and she instantly loved the fragrance. She called it no Chanel Number no. Five, and it debuted in 1921. Its unique, clean scent boasted notes of jasmine, rose, sandalwood, and vanilla. In part due to her marketing prowess, the perfume became a huge success, and indeed, 100 years later, it remains one of the most popular perfumes of all time and is worn by women all over the world. That was interesting to me. And in nice news, Japan's most famous yachtsman will cross the Pacific alone at age 83. An 83-year-old set sail Saturday for a long journey across the Pacific Ocean, a major feat made even more impressive by the fact that it's not his first time doing it alone. In 1962, Kenichi Hori, known as Japan's most famous yachtsman, became the first person to make a non-stop trip solo from Osaka to San Francisco. He was soon heralded as a hero, and the boat he used on that initial 94-day passage named the Mermaid stands today in San Francisco's Maritime Museum. Since then, Jorge has made multiple voyages across the Pacific in more interesting vessels, including boats made entirely out of aluminum cans, beer kegs, and whiskey barrels. One watercraft was powered by solar panels, while yet another used foot pedals. Jorge's 
latest journey, however, is most remarkable because of his age. When asked if he had any nerves, the accomplished seaman said, nothing at all, maybe just being old. That's very interesting to me. The fact that he's going to do that. Wow. And your quote of the day comes from Massimo uh, Botera, Botera. One day, if you have a little bit of talent and a lot of hard work, you're going to find out who you are. One day, if you have a little bit of talent and a lot of hard work, you're going to find out who you are. I, I like that one too. And your holidays for today, it is Respect Your Cat Day. Pusheen made sure I did. It is National Black Forest Cake Day. It is National Something on a Stick Day. National Triglycerides Day. National Weed Appreciation Day. Surf's Eman Emancipation Day. That's pretty cool. And Lady Gaga's birthday. So, as always, there is a holiday for everyone. I hope you find a way to celebrate. Don't forget to respect your cat. In the meantime, please stay safe, be kind to one another, and as always, happy yarning. Bye now.